Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, if I don't think it, but, but you know, is the choice between Walmart sweaters and Prada sweaters, you think that fundamentally, like, the guys who buy Prada sweaters have different preferences than the guys who buy Walmart sweaters? Or do you think they're, like, in a very different position in terms of the alternative, right? It's, 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 it's more about the income levels, probably, has the biggest effect on that, right? I don't think the secret lies in thinking about the underlying preference. I think the secret lies in, in terms of, again, there's a lot of sort of constraints on people's consumption in terms of, you know, well, how many sweaters can I wear at once? You know? It's right, it's really hard, right? When it comes to land, you know, you can have a pretty big income elasticity over a long, wide range of income because I might like having a 50-acre estate, you know, or a 100-acre estate, or a 1,000-acre estate. I might want to have a 40,000-square-foot house, right? I might want to have a 50, I might want to have a 20,000-square-foot apartment in downtown New York. I mean, you can spend lots and lots of money on those margins and right, so that elasticity could be pretty high over a wide income range. I'm not going to have a closet with 400 Walmart sweaters in it. That's just, I can't wear them all at the same time, right? There, there's a fundamental difference there. You know, now you might say that has to do with preferences. On the other hand, you might say, well, geez, it has a lot to do with technology, what I can do with that extra. And it would be different depending on what, you know, what else is going on in the world. Prices will also matter. What other goods are available matter. Implicitly, prices. Any, any other questions?